uh, this is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. Today we're going to have a study on birds. And today the bird that I'm demonstrating is Oriole. And I have done a um, Kingfisher before. And uh, today I'm more going to um, emphasize once you learn one bird and then there are the anatomy of a bird is so similar. It's just the shape of the beak, the, the, the size of the body. And so I will tell you a few pointers about how to paint a bird successfully. And uh, in the meantime, there are two books that I refer a lot in, in our collection. One is Drawing Little Birds by OCA. The other is 100 Birds by OCN. These are all the non um, style uh, uh, painting birds and they are uh, easier and not as tedious as a lot of uh, other bird uh, book. And um, I also would recommend when I'm on the Facebook, I start uh, downloading, uh, I start downloading some a bird picture and then uh, and then it will just keep on feeding me so I have a lot of um, uh, bird picture download my uh, download on my uh, phone and then give me a lot of inspiration as far as the color as well as the, um, the shape of the birds and you can see that they are um, have tremendous color and then you later on we can do other ones then use iridescent uh, um, palette to draw birds but as far as the shape the way you paint birds is very similar so today i'm using very simple coloring and shape of the birds to do a yellow oriole and then that way you can elaborate from there on your own. Um, for the bird body, I'm using just two brush. That uh, one is the uh, whisker brush. You can see it's very thin. And that I'm going to do it the, the beak as well as the eyes for the bird and then our uh, OAS flow brush for the body. And then I will use the uh, full lotus brush for the trunk of the bird standing. So that's all I'm going to use. As far as the, the eyes and the beak, you can also use happy dog, but the, the whisker brush seems uh, loading a lot less water, so it's easier to control the moisture. So the color, I'm using very simple colors. I'm going to use my eight color companion set and it has yellow and orange in there. And then the best bottle ink. And then one essential thing is the trick of painting birds is the gluet that we have in our collection, which is a water soluble transparent glue that um, you can put a little bit water in it and to what does is to control the, the moisture control. So I'm going to do a little tiny, a couple of drops of the glue. And now I'm using the brush, drip some water in there. So every time when I want to control the moisture control, so instead of dipping the brush in the water, I dip it in this glue water to control the moisture. So, um, 
to use sheets of paper for me to test my color. So I start with the beak of the Oreo and uh, I'm loading the glue water. And then I dip into the ink. So I'm going to see how you can see that it's not running at all. So because the beak is so fine line, so you want to make sure that your um, your brush is easy control. So I do a center line. And then I do a top. I do a bottom. So this is my beak. Then very close to the beak, I'm doing an eye. So it's like half a circle to the top. And then So this is my eye. And then I'm um, to do the crown of the bird. So I have two flow brush. One is going to do, use the ink. The other I'm using the yellow, um, the color. So I dip the yellow first and then I mixed and tip the orange so then so this you can see is I'm already having um, um, the bird face start forming and then I have a little line of that and then I'm going to do the body of the bird before I fill the rest of it Okay, and then I'm going to use the other flow brush, Just a little bit. So now this finished the wind. And then here's the tail. So I'm using a lighter yellow to do the G 
chest of the bird. Connect it with my tail. Then I will use a little bit of ink here to finish the base. This is my, and then with the whisk brush, I'm going to do a little claw. And then I'm going to do a little trunk. So I'm using this green in this palette and mix with a little brown. This is the trunk. To use the flow brush for my happy dot. So this, I finished my Oreo. So um, if you want to do more birds, please make a comment in our video and what kind of birds you would like. And then uh, there's a lot of uh, possibilities. So uh, happy painting. See you next time.